Season four of Emily in Paris throws us right back into the romantic whirlwind of the City of Light. The city, with its enchanting streets and iconic landmarks, sets the stage for another round of Emily's adventures and misadventures. The previous season concluded with a dramatic twist, leaving Emily at a crossroads with Gabriel and Camille. The love triangle that has kept viewers on the edge of their seats now demands resolution, but the path forward is anything but clear. Fans anticipated resolutions, hoping for fresh storylines. The buzz around the new season was palpable, with discussions and theories swirling about how Emily would navigate her complicated love life and career. Instead, the season falls back on familiar tropes, recycling conflicts, and failing to deliver satisfying character arcs. The repetitive arguments and predictable plot twists make it feel like the show is treading water rather than moving forward. Paris, despite being exquisitely captured, starts to feel like a backdrop for melodrama rather than a vibrant character in itself. The city's charm, which once added a magical layer to the story, now seems overshadowed by the lacklustre narrative. The charm offensive of Parisian life, once intoxicating, begins to wear thin. The picturesque cafes and cobblestone streets, which initially enchanted viewers, now seem to serve as mere set pieces for Emily's ongoing dilemmas. The audience is left wondering if the show's creators have run out of authentic experiences to mine. The initial allure of Emily's Parisian escapades is fading, leaving viewers craving more depth and originality in the storytelling. The central love triangle, a staple since the show's inception, continues to spin its wheels in season four. Emily, forever oscillating between Gabriel and Alfie, becomes an increasingly frustrating protagonist. Her inability to make a decision, to truly understand her own heart, grows tiresome. This lack of emotional maturity permeates her professional life as well. While Emily experiences fleeting moments of marketing ingenuity, her impulsiveness and naivete resurface with predictable regularity. The writers seem content to keep her tethered to this cycle of romantic indecision, neglecting any genuine character growth. Camille, initially positioned as a formidable rival for Gabriel's affections, is relegated to a predictable pregnancy storyline. While motherhood is a significant life change, the writing fails to imbue her journey with the complexity it deserves. Instead, she becomes entangled in repetitive conflicts, often fueled by miscommunication and jealousy. The show hints at Camille's artistic ambitions but never fully explores her potential beyond the realm of romance. This lack of depth extends to her relationships with other characters, reducing her to a catalyst for Emily's romantic woes. Emily in Paris boasts a diverse ensemble, yet the supporting characters are often relegated to the sidelines. Mindy's musical aspirations, a promising plotline in previous seasons, are largely sidelined. Her romantic entanglements, while entertaining, lack the depth and nuance afforded to Emily's love life. Julian Emily's witty and observant colleague is also woefully underutilized. His sharp commentary on Emily's misadventures provides some of the show's most humorous moments. However, the writers miss the opportunity to delve deeper into his own aspirations and personal life. Section 5, Stumbling Through Serious Issues. Perhaps the most frustrating aspect of Season 4 is its mishandling of serious topics. The show attempts to tackle important issues but often falls short in its execution. Sexual harassment in the workplace, a significant issue that deserves thoughtful exploration, is reduced to a plot device. The narrative introduces a storyline involving a predatory photographer, but it fails to delve into the emotional and psychological impact on the victim. The show introduces a storyline involving a predatory photographer, only to resolve it quickly and superficially. This quick resolution undermines the gravity of the issue, leaving viewers with a sense of dissatisfaction and a missed opportunity for meaningful dialogue. This lack of sensitivity extends to its portrayal of cultural differences. The show often glosses over the nuances of cultural interactions, opting instead for broad generalizations that fail to capture the true essence of living in a foreign country. 
Instead of engaging with the complexities of navigating life in a foreign country, the show often resorts to tired cliches and stereotypes, undermining any attempt at genuine cultural commentary. The portrayal of French culture is often reduced to exaggerated stereotypes, which not only feels lazy, but also disrespectful to the rich and diverse culture it aims to depict. This approach detracts from the authenticity of the narrative and leaves much to be desired in terms of character development and cultural representation. Section 6. The glitz and glamour can't hide the shallow depths. Emily in Paris continues to captivate with its stunning visuals. The costumes are exquisite, each piece meticulously chosen to reflect the latest trends and the timeless elegance of Parisian fashion. The Parisian scenery is breathtaking, with iconic landmarks like the Eiffel Tower and the Seine River, providing a picturesque backdrop that enhances the show's visual appeal. The overall aesthetic is undeniably appealing, drawing viewers into a world of luxury and sophistication that feels almost dreamlike. However, the show's superficiality becomes increasingly apparent as the season progresses. Beneath the surface of glitz and glamour, there is a noticeable lack of depth in the storytelling. The show seems more concerned with showcasing luxurious locations and designer outfits, often prioritising style over substance. This focus on materialism and external beauty overshadows the potential for exploring the emotional complexities of its characters, leaving their personal growth and development largely unexplored. This emphasis on style over substance ultimately leaves the audience feeling empty, as if they have consumed a sugary confection with no nutritional value. The characters' interactions often feel shallow and their relationships lack genuine connection. While the show offers a feast for the eyes, it fails to provide the emotional nourishment that makes a story truly satisfying. The glitz and glamour, though dazzling, can't hide the shallow depths beneath. Section 7, The Price of Predictability, has the magic faded. The initial appeal of Emily in Paris lay in its escapist fantasy. It offered a whimsical escape to a world of romance, fashion and Parisian charm. However, the repetitive storylines and lack of character development have diminished the show's ability to surprise and engage its audience. The predictability factor is undeniable. Viewers can anticipate the conflicts, the resolutions and even the dialogue with alarming accuracy. This lack of originality begs the question, has Emily in Paris overstayed its welcome? Part of the frustration with Emily in Paris stems from its wasted potential. The show had all the ingredients for a compelling exploration of personal growth, cultural exchange and the challenges of finding oneself in a new environment. Instead, it chooses to remain on the surface, relying on tired tropes and predictable conflicts. The characters, particularly Emily, deserve storylines that challenge them, force them to confront their flaws, and ultimately allow them to evolve. Despite its flaws, season four of Emily in Paris does offer glimpses of the show it could be. There are moments of genuine humor, often arising from the sharp wit of characters like Julian and Sylvie. The show occasionally touches on the complexities of intercultural relationships, hinting at the challenges of bridging cultural divides. These fleeting moments of insight, however, are overshadowed by the show's overall tendency towards superficiality. Emily in Paris seems to operate within a bubble, detached from the realities of life in Paris, especially for expats. The show rarely acknowledges the challenges of language barriers, cultural differences, or the often prohibitive cost of living in one of the world's most expensive cities. This lack of realism contributes to the show's overall sense of superficiality. By ignoring the complexities of living and working in a foreign country, Emily in Paris presents a sanitized and unrealistic version of the expat experience. As season four of Emily in Paris concludes, one can't help but wonder about the show's future. Will the writers continue to rely on the same tired formulas? Or will they finally allow their characters and the city they inhabit the depth and complexity they deserve? The answer remains to be seen. However, one thing is certain. 
Emily in Paris needs to evolve if it wants to avoid becoming a caricature of itself.